Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today we're going to be taking a look at two brand new cameras, the Canon 90D and the M6 Mark II. Now both of these are replacements to existing models, replacing the 80D and M6, uh, the original version respectively. Now the reason why we're looking at these two cameras in the one video is that while they look different on the exterior, internally they are very, very similar cameras as we'll see. Before we get into that though, let's take a look at the bodies of the two cameras. We'll start with the 90D, and it looks basically like any other DSLR. It retained the top LCD screen and weather sealing from the 80D, as well as the fully articulating touchscreen and mic and headphone jacks. It does sport a new autofocus joystick, which is great. Personally, I love my joysticks. I find they make it a lot faster to navigate menus and to change your AF point, so I'm certainly happy to see that on here. It also has a frankly luxurious grip. It's maybe a bit hard to see on the video here, but the grip is a lot deeper than on the 80D. Even those with quite large hands uh, should feel very comfortable using this. In comparison, the M6 Mark II is a mirrorless camera, and as such, it's quite a bit smaller and lighter than the 90D. It has a generally similar build to the original M6, although it does also sport a deeper grip, which is nice. It is a little bit larger, but not really noticeably so. It has also modified the dial setup a little bit, adding an adjustable function feature. It gains an AF-MF toggle switch, and it overall has a sturdier build than the M6. It feels a lot more solid. The construction is just a little bit better. You'll notice there's no viewfinder on this camera, but it actually does come with a 2.36 million dot removable viewfinder, and that comes standard in the box. That's nice because on the M6, the original one, that viewfinder was sold separately. Now this model, the pre-production model I was using here, actually didn't have this viewfinder with it at the time of filming, but you get the idea. It has a flip up screen which will allow selfies, although since it does flip up on top of the camera, if you have that viewfinder or an external mic attached on the hot shoe mount, that will block that screen. It also features a mic jack, although no headphone output, just like the original M6. Now I mentioned that the cameras are very similar internally and that these body designs are one of the major differences between them. Of course, adding to that is the differences in lens selection. So the 90D natively uses the Canon EF lenses, or rather EF-S for the crop sensor lenses, although it can use the full frame lenses as well while the M6 Mark II uses Canon's EF-M mirrorless lenses. Both have very good lens selections within those groups, although it is definitely worth noting that the EF range currently has much more selection than the EF-M range. However, you can get an adapter to put EF lenses on the M6 Mark II. So enough about the differences, let's talk about some of the similarities between these two cameras. So both feature a 32 megapixel APS-C sized sensor. That's a pretty big resolution jump over their predecessors, both of which had 24 megapixel sensors. And in fact, at 32 megapixels, these are among the highest resolution APS-C cameras that we've yet seen on the market. In fact, it's even a little bit more resolution than what's on the 30 megapixel 5D Mark IV, which is a full frame camera. So you're gonna have a lot of resolution here to crop it on your photos, to make enlargements, and to have overall just very high picture quality coming out of these two cameras. They also both sport Digic 8 processors, which again is improvements over their predecessors. Both cameras also feature an improved and very robust autofocus system, uh, which has 143 AF area segments. On the 90D in particular, the coverage has been expanded compared to what it was on the 80D. More importantly though, this AF system on both cameras also features Canon's fantastic dual pixel autofocus system, which means that these cameras are very fast and accurate when dealing with moving subjects. They also work very well in live view, which is a, a known strength of the dual pixel AF system, and it even carries over into 4K video, which I'll touch on in just a sec. We also see improvements to the burst shooting capabilities on these cameras. So the 90D can shoot it up to 10 frames per second now with autofocus tracking. The M6 Mark II can shoot it up to 14 frames per second, and even features a 30 frames per second raw burst mode with AF tracking. So you've got a very strong autofocus system, high burst shooting, and 32 megapixel sensors as well, so you can take very high resolution, very high quality shots in an environment with fast moving subjects where you need to track your subjects well, and they both excel in this area. Finally, let's touch on video performance, which is a fairly big deal for these cameras as the 80D was billed as not just a good still shooter, but also as a good video shooter, and the original M6 uh, had some popularity amongst vloggers due to its small size. Happily, we've got some good improvements on these new models. They can both shoot 4K video at up to 30 frames per second, which is improving over their predecessors, which topped out at 1080. And as mentioned, the dual pixel autofocus system works 100% in 4K. That's a bigger deal than it might sound because Canon has put out some models in the past where their dual pixel system was disabled when shooting in 4K. 
Luckily, it's in full force here when shooting 4K, so you can, add, you, know, you can leverage that fantastic video autofocus performance that the dual pixel system is known for when shooting at the full resolution. There's also a new eye autofocus feature as well on these cameras. Also, when shooting in 4K, there's no crop factor. Canon has been criticized in the past for some of their other models having a fairly significant crop when shooting in 4K, primarily amongst their full frame lineup. But we've got no crop on these cameras when shooting in 4K. You can shoot with the crop uh, on the 90D if you want, but uh, the standard feature is with no crop. Also improvements to uh, 1080p slow motion shooting. Uh, both of these cameras can shoot up to 120 frames per second in 1080, making giving you about four times slow motion which is uh, higher than the 60 frames per second than the, the older models could do. This gives you really nice slow-mo footage. It looks very, very smooth and just very pleasing. They've definitely nailed that. Overall, both of these cameras are quite impressive. The 80D was already a very popular model from Canon. I think the 90D is going to be even more so. But still shooters are definitely gonna appreciate that both cameras have you know, high resolution 32 megapixel sensors with a very robust autofocus system. And video shooters are gonna love 4K video shooting with dual pixel autofocus system and no crop in 4K. Now, which of these two cameras you choose is up to you. I think traditionalists are gonna aim for the 90D because they're gonna have access to the larger EF lens range from, uh, from Canon uh, that goes natively on that one, as well as people who want to mount uh, an external mic on their camera without having that interfere with the flip out screen. Whereas the M6 Mark II, I think is going to appeal more to people who want a compact yet powerful uh, package or for people who want, uh, maybe people who already have a traditional camera setup and are looking for a, a strong B cam. Either way, both of these cameras are gonna be out in late September of 2019. You can place a pre-order right now on our website at www.digidirect.com.au or you can do so in store as well. If you're watching this video after the cameras have been released, visit us in store and you can check them out for yourself. We have stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBD, and Cannington, Western Australia, which is just outside the Perth CBD. Thanks, guys. Take care.